Hey guys, I'm Sonika. Today I'm going to show you how you can use textures in your photography in order to enhance the quality of your photos. So let's get started. If you like my video guys, give me a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and now enjoy the video. Hey guys, I am Sonika. I have talked about so many composition rules and techniques in my YouTube videos for you guys and today I am going to talk about textures in photography. In a sense, textures are details that visually describe how something physically feels. Textures can be soft, rough, anything that your hand can feel on a surface. You can photograph them either from a distance, for example, sea waves, or up close, for example, details on a leaf. For example, sand has a fine and granular texture, and water has a smooth and glossy texture. Now I'm going to give you some tips on how you can capture texture in style in your photos. The higher the F number, the more details you'll be able to capture of your subject. Similarly, the lower the F number, the more blur or bokeh you are bound to get in photos. Photos of textured compositions are mostly ones which have a lot of detail and sharpness, which means your aperture should be at least f7.1. But if you want to show depth in your texture, you can go for a lower F number. Use a tripod if you want to reduce camera shake when you are clicking textures. If you want your photos to be even more clear, use the self timer mode of your camera or a remote. You can capture the most detailed and abstract texture photos if you go macro. Everything in nature has a pattern and a unique texture to it. So simply go for a stroll in the park with your camera or your mobile phone if it has a macro mode and return with so many textured photos in nature. Shooting from different angles alters the light that falls on your subject in each photo, potentially emphasizing textures that weren't visible from your original vantage point. The way a texture looks in nature changes as the day progresses. That is what makes natural light or ambient light so unpredictable and fun to work with. Also try working with artificial light. Create your own studio using a simple backdrop or even a large sheet of paper will do. And a light source. You can make your own textures out of Anything you can possibly imagine. Collect and organize natural objects like pebbles, leaves, food or dried flowers and just click them. In your landscape photos, compose your photos such that it has a gentle texture in the foreground. You can try textures of grass, clouds, water and enhance the depth of your photos. One way to experiment with textures is to view from close up and also go at a distance. The winding rivers and patchwork fields become great textural elements. Alternatively, a macro lens can let you fill the screen with a detailed surface and create an immersive textural composition. When it comes to photo editing, start with cropping to make sure your photo is framed just the way you want it. Sharpen your image, up the contrast or tweak the highlights and shadows. You can tweak your images in any way guys so that the textures of the image really stand out. The warm feeling of sitting inside on a cold rainy day as the raindrops drip down a window can be perfectly encapsulated in a textured photo. 
Meanwhile, an image of a dry leaf invokes a completely different feeling. So guys, I hope we gave you some good idea about how to use textures in your photography. And I don't claim that it is the most important composition rule that you need to follow for all your photos but it definitely enhances the emotional message of your photos so it's worth paying attention to. And if you like this video guys give me a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below about what you want to watch next on my channel, share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon to be notified whenever I post new videos where is my previous composition tutorial please go check it out guys thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more such videos every wednesday on my channel bye